We're here in Africa and I wanted to show you a little bit of the gear that I'm using and how we make it easy to work with. Here I'm shooting with a full frame camera with a 100 to 400 lens and this allows me to quickly shoot around but sometimes I need to pull things in much closer than this will allow. So for that I brought a 500 millimeter lens and a camera that has a one and a half times uh, crop factor so this can really pull things in close but this lens is so heavy that it's impractical to work with handheld. I can do it for a few shots but if I want to come in here and do this for more than uh, three or four shots I'm going to be getting tired. So because of that we have a custom setup here uh, for mounting this. Usually I have it this way where it's out of the way so when I'm shooting with my other camera it doesn't get in my way when I'm shooting but then when I want to use the big lens I loosen up a clamp rotate this 90 degrees and tighten it again and now I can take my big lens and attach it to this. And what we have here is a Wimberly gimbal head and this standard Wimberly head would usually mount to a tripod so right here the tripod would start but since we're doing it on a vehicle we have a super clamp and this can be mounted directly to the super clamp the problem with that is the height would be fixed since the different vehicles that we're on have bars at various heights, that makes it inconvenient. So here, Wimberly worked with Journeys Unforgettable to make this custom setup. And let me show you what it does for us. If I take my viewfinder here, if I want to adjust its height, I have one little clamp I can undo. and need to push this really high for vehicles that have bars low, or I can bring it down as far as I'd like to uh, work with vehicles that have uh, bars that are um, higher. Then I can tighten that up. And now the way Wimberly works is if I loosen this knob here, I can swing the lens freely this direction. If I open this here, I can freely tilt the lens. And the lens is balanced, so if I tilt it down, it's just going to try to naturally correct itself. If I tilt this way, it's not going to suddenly clam clash down. It's something where I can very uh, easily move it. Then the last thing that I usually loosen is on the lens itself. It allows me to rotate so I can quickly go from horizontal to vertical. And so with this setup, I can be in here shooting as much as I'd like, switching from horizontal to vertical, swinging around any direction I'd like, and it's effortless. I could do it with one finger, and my camera never tries to suddenly lurch in one direction because it's all nicely balanced. But this is a combination of a normal Wimberly head and this custom bracket that Wimberly worked up for Journeys Unforgettable and the combination really makes this a pleasure to shoot with. I also want to show you how I can quickly transition from shooting from the big lens to the smaller one because if we start driving and start hitting big bumps this isn't going to feel great go moving around that much. I'll have to stabilize it a bit especially if I have any of these uh, loose. So when we're about to move or I just want to get this out of my way I loosen one clamp and then I can take this lens off. I have a bag right down here that I can quickly transition the lens into and then I take a bean bag same kind of bean bag I'd usually set on something like this to shoot with a smaller lens and I push it in the bag to make sure this can't move around much when we're driving. Then I can loosen one clamp here and push this whole thing out of the way so that now if I want to go back to shooting with a smaller lens there's nothing in my way when I'm shooting. And I think that whole setup with two cameras, long lens and a shorter lens makes it so uh, I'm most versatile when working. I also, below me, which is just outside of your view, have the Think Tank modulus system set up here with all my other lenses from fisheye uh, to medium lenses. So if any time I want to take the lens off of here and switch it for another, I can grab any lens in a matter of seconds and put it back away. So the whole setup uh, makes me allow me to shoot with any lens I want to uh, very quickly. Cool. All right, now we're back in camp, and I want to show you an alternative to the full Wimberley head. The Wimberley is something I would use when I rent really big glass. The lens I was using earlier was a 500 millimeter f/4 uh, that I got from LensProToGo.com, and they're great for renting gear. That lens really needs big time support. But when I'm shooting with a smaller lens, here I'm shooting with a 100 to 400, that full size Wimberley is kind of overkill. And I'd rather not have to pack it in my bag. 
if I'm using a smaller lens, possibly a smaller body, then I would use as an alternative something Wimberley came up with that's known as a sidekick. For the sidekick, you need a normal uh, ball head for a tripod. And what you want to do is loosen it up and take it and just swing it down so it is as if you're going to be shooting a vertical. Then this is going to slide right in. Now you have to have a um, Arca Swiss type plate here, which mine is, is from a company called Really Right Stuff, and this will slide right into it. But that's a common uh, accessory when shooting landscapes and such. I'm going to make sure that this is perfectly vertical and I'm going to lock down my ball head. Get it nice and tight so this isn't going to move on me. Then I'll spin this around. I'll loosen up the part that lets you take a panorama by rotating things. And right in here, I'm going to put my lens. Now, usually you have a tripod collar and it's down at the bottom. If you loosen up this little nut, you can slide it off to the side. And if you put it at 90 degrees, then you could take it and slide it right into this device. And the idea here is to slide your lens forward and back until it's balanced. So what I can do is loosen this up, which will allow this to go in this direction. And right now I notice the body is a little on the heavy side. So I loosen this clamp, slide it forward a little bit, and then test it again. And now it's just a little bit heavy towards the body, so I'll slide it forward a little bit more. And now it's more neutral, where it's not trying to go one way or the other, and that way I can control it without the body trying to pull it down. So now this is a lot like the full-size Wimberley. What I do is I leave my ball head locked down so that this vertical member stays in the right position, and I just loosen up the part that allows you to take a panorama, which allows me to go this direction. This knob, if I loosen it, allows me to go like this. And then finally, the knob on my tripod collar for my lens, I loosen up so I can switch between shooting horizontal and shooting vertical. And so that now I can come in here and very quickly move around and shoot whatever I'd like. There is a little bit more limited movement though because if when I move down eventually my camera will hit uh, the connector but still it's pretty good to be able to go around and very quickly fluidly move. My camera is not going to move anywhere on its own and I can lock down any one of these um, axes if I want to keep it really nice and stable. But this whole thing can be taken apart very quickly and now I can go back to using my normal ball head and that way it takes up very little space in my bag. So let me show you the difference between this and the full size Wimberley. Here's a full size Wimberley. That takes up a considerable amount of my bag but it's necessary for things like the 500 millimeter. This takes up a lot less space in my bag. Good for things like Canon's 100 to 400 or on Nikon to 300 uh, 2.8 or the 200 to 400 f4 or similar ones for other cameras. Wouldn't be using this once I get up to the 500 millimeter. It's just too big of a lens and it wouldn't allow enough movement compared to this one. So these are both made by Wimberley and they're known as a, generically known as a gimbal head and they're great when working with large lenses. If you ever rent big glass because you're going to go out on safari let's say and you don't have your own, if you end up renting a lens, let's say the 500 millimeter I showed you earlier, and you rent a Wimberley head along with it so that you can uh, work with them together, uh, be sure that you ask for a Wimberley plate on your uh, lens. You do need this little dovetailed plate. Uh, it's generically known as an Arca Swiss as well. And this is what's going to allow it to attach to that Wimberley. The standard tripod uh, screw isn't usually going to do it. You need to have that plate as well. So either ask for an Arca Swiss plate or for just a Wimberley plate. In general, they can mean the same thing because they're designed the same.